In this session, we will take a look at the annotation tools and how to use those. Let's begin by clicking on the Sphere 2 software icon to launch the program. Once the program is launched, we'll go down to the bottom left where you see the pencil and the ruler icon. Click on that and this will bring up your tools for your annotation. Now the tool to the far left is going to be your select tool. We'll get back to that in just a little bit. So let's take a look at the freehand tool. Once you click on that, of course you're able to draw, underline. We can go ahead and select different colors as well by going over to the color palette. We can click on the palette once more to make custom colors. Once you select the custom color, go ahead and add it to the custom color chart and click OK. Now we have that custom color and we'll be able to score, underline, write, or whatever we want to do. Let's click on the tool again and let's go over to the broom and this will delete everything. If you did not want to do that, you can go to the arrows and of course it will redo, undo. And then we can select the eraser tool and erase one line at a time. Once again, we could do the redo or undo. Now for the highlighter, it will be the same thing. I've selected it, but you notice that this highlighter is a little bit too narrow or too thin. What we can do is come over to the icon next to the color palette, and this will allow you to select the thickness or the width of your line and the style of the line that you want to use. Whether it has an arrow at one end or both ends, or dots, or just a straight line. So now you notice that the highlighter is a little bit thicker. Let's go ahead and take a look at the freehand tool again and the color palette. Click on the color palette and we'll select a different color. We'll take yellow at this time. Now you will have to select your color prior to doing your highlighting. Once the color is selected, you cannot change that. Next tool is your straight line tool, and it will do just that, give you a straight line. You also have your option of selecting different colors. Now, once we go to the line width option, we're going to select the arrow. So now my straight line becomes a pointer, or a line with an arrow at the end. We can also select a different color, like so. Now to go back to showing you what the select tool is. You can select on the select tool to highlight an object or line that you've placed on your document and you can move that around. However, you cannot resize it. You can group them and move them all around together, or you could just highlight one and move it one at a time. Let's go ahead and erase everything. Now to show you about the text. Click on the text and you can select your font, your size, and whether you want it to be bold, italicized, or underlined. And then we just begin typing. Now once you lay down the text, we can of course move that around by going over to the select tool. Select it and now we can move it to any place on the page that we wish to do. Next to the text tool is going to be your shape. You notice we have what looks like a solid and what looks like a semi-solid. As with everything else, we could select the different colors. Now let's go to this semi-solid 
or to just actually give you the outline of the shape that you have selected. For example, let's take a circle and you notice that it is hollow. And we can move those around as well. Go ahead and erase everything. Now, once again, I can undo if I did not mean to erase that and then redo. And that brings us to the end of this session. Thank you.